First Foods and Gut Microbes. Dr. Martin Lawson, National Food Institute at the Technical University of Denmark, DTU Food, provided interesting insights and own research data on this topic at the NNI Online Symposium at the 7th International Conference on Nutrition and Growth. Why study the early life gut microbiota? During the last decades, a growing number of clinical studies show the importance of an adequate gut microbiota development for short and long-term health. A disturbed gut microbiota's early life seems to be linked with various health conditions such as undernutrition, type 1 diabetes, inflammatory bowel diseases, asthma, and allergies as well as obesity. Therefore, it is important to understand how gut microbiota develops during early years and which are the strong factors influencing infant's gut microbiota. The development of the gut microbiota during early life is a dynamic process. At birth, only a few numbers of microbes are in the GI tract. Within the first year of life, there generally is a strong increase in the numbers of gut microbes combined with dynamic changes of the bacterial families during the first years of life. Amongst many possible factors, breast milk is the strongest factor influencing infant gut microbiota, as shown by several longitudinal birth cohort studies. The dominance of breast milk can be explained by their abundance of human milk oligosaccharides, HMOs, that support the growth of certain bifidobacterium species. Introducing complementary foods in mid and late infancy, solid foods also become an important determinant of gut microbiota. Dr. Martin Lawson then discussed the combined results from two longitudinal birth cohort studies in Denmark, which showed that complementary foods affect gut microbial composition. The transition to family food was associated with a decrease in the relative abundance of bifidobacteriaceae and an increase in the diverse bacterial family of lactospirosae, whose members are known to ferment dietary fibres to short-chain fatty acids. Interestingly, the composition of the complementary foods affects gut microbiota diversity, shown by the Shannon Index. The consumption of complementary foods with high protein and fibre contents, specifically meats, cheese and Danish rye bread, are associated with increased gut microbiota diversity. Although the microbial succession in the infant gut greatly varies among individual infants, this model of changes in major gut microbiota composition and diversity in early life is emerging, according to Dr. Martin Lawson. During exclusive breastfeeding, the gut microbiota is in a state characterized by a high relative abundance of bifidobacterium due to the HMO content in breast milk. With the introduction of complementary foods, the abundance of bifidobacterium is gradually decreasing and members of other bacterial families are dynamically increasing, accompanied by an increase in microbiota diversity. These changes go along with an increase in protein and dietary fiber intake from complementary food. What could be the implication for infant health? First promising evidence from a clinical study in undernourished Bangladeshi infants and young children show that a certain complementary food designed for having an impact on a disturbed gut microbiota, MDCF2, can shift the immature gut microbiota configuration towards a gut microbiota of healthy matched children of the same age and region. Furthermore, analyzing the plasma proteome, this type of complementary food shifts plasma markers of the undernourished infants and children towards that of healthy, age-matched individuals, such as markers for growth and bone formation, neurodevelopment, and immune function. In conclusion, the infant gut microbiota development is influenced by breastfeeding and the composition of the complementary diet, with protein and dietary fiber intake coupled to the development of increased diversity of the maturing gut microbiota of well-nourished infants. 
pioneering studies with malnourished children suggest that microbiota-directed complementary food ensures adequate maturation of the gut microbiota and may improve growth, neurodevelopment, bone and immune function. Further longitudinal studies with extensive information on gut microbiota and detailed dietary records will improve our knowledge on the influence of complementary diet on gut microbiota trajectory in early life and subsequent health impact.